We drove from Boise to Salmon and wow, it was quite the trip. I'm gonna take you through what we did along the way, including this right here. You never know what you're gonna get with Idaho, a drive through a bunch of cows. Our first stop that we hit along the way was on the way to Sun Valley, Idaho. It's a beautiful area out there. To actually get to Sun Valley, you have to go off the road about 30 miles. We didn't do that on this trip, but it is a beautiful, beautiful area, although there can be a bunch of snow. We stopped here at Craters of the Moon, which is so cool. It's actually the largest lava field that is still preserved in actually the entire United States. It's like something like 400,000 acres or something. Um, we're here during winter, so you can't see a whole lot. Gonna come back during summer, but it is pretty cool to see. It is just completely, completely a lava field, basically. So uh, definitely make your way out here if you are headed out to Idaho. Craters of the Moon is located between Cary and Arco, Idaho. The National Monument was established in 1924 and the lava fields themselves encompass about 400 square miles. Craters of the Moon is located on the Snake River Plain and is thought to be created by the volcano that is now the Yellowstone Supervolcano. So there is not much to Arco, Idaho, but the one really cool thing as you drive through is this. It's the first city in the world to be lit by atomic power. This happened back in 1955 and they've since built numerous reactors in the area. We had to stop here because Mount Bora is behind me. It's the highest peak in Idaho. You can actually climb, by climb, I mean hike up it. Um, during the summer, it's a little bit too cold right now, but it's just absolutely beautiful. The drive between Mount Bora and Salmon was a little bit long, but it was also beautiful. Definitely very windy, but you go through some canyons and some beautiful rock formations, and then everything just kind of opens up. All right, we made it to Salmon. The city is small, there is not a lot to do, and because it's winter, there's even less to do, but there's a few things. I tried to go to the Lemhi County Museum. It was closed. Could be winter, could be COVID, we're not sure, but if you look around, the downtown is just, just a small town, cute downtown. There's also a river here, which is beautiful. So walking around downtown and see the mountains, it is just absolutely, very, um, it's a nice city to visit. Not a lot to do, but you can be here for a day or two and there's stuff that you can find. Downtown Salmon was really cute. There were a couple of things open that we, we went to a couple of really good breakfast restaurants, also some stores. We also hit this adorable little bakery. If you are in town, they had yummy cookies, some bread, also really good coffee. A cool thing to do here in winter is there's a Sacagawea Memorial here. Sacagawea was actually from Lemhi County, which is Salmon, and helped Lewis and Clark along their journey. Um, and there is a whole monument here. It's actually beautiful. There's trails you can walk around, and there is also a statue as well. There is a museum here. However, during the winter, it is closed. 
You can call them 24 hours in advance and they'll open it for you, but the trails down here do show you the history and it's it's pretty pretty amazing. You look at this map they came all the way through idaho up here up to the north fork here's the salmon area So I'm in Salmon at a hockey tournament and um, it is between periods and the Zamboni is running and my feet are frozen so I'm sitting here in the car. But it's actually a super cool rink. It is outdoors. I don't know if they run all year long but they definitely run in the winter and it's just a cool place to see so I'm going to show you just a couple things about it and uh, show you some hockey as well. The river is a huge part of the economy here in Salmon because people come here to whitewater raft. This is where you start. We're actually headed out of Salmon now, but I wanted to show you what a beautiful place this is. You look around, it's just mountains and rivers and just beautiful. Really, really amazing place to come visit. The Salmon River flows more than 425 miles through the vast Frank Church River of No Return Wilderness the second deepest gorge on the American continent. There are thousands of people that flock to Salmon every single summer to do the whitewater rafting there from out of town, from out of state, and even some locals.